friends, neighbors, and of course, the YouTube comment section. Hello and welcome back. So, today's video is what we like to call Billy's Redemption of PowerCon or Billy's PowerCon Redemption. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video is I got a bunch of shade in my PowerCon video previously and my True One video previously that, oh, you have to use ferals, you have to use ferals. And I'm like, no, you don't. And then I got them. So this is the one instance where the YouTube, well, not the one instance, but one of the instances where the YouTube comment section really came in pretty clutch. Um, and ferals are a game changer. I use these things on everything now. Uh, for the past two years or so, every LM cable has ferals on them. Um, and it really is just kind of a cool, um, just kind of a cool thing that, that I discovered. The European electricians have been using these things forever, but in, in America, they're not super, super prevalent outside of like, uh, wiring harnesses and, um, you know, uh, Phoenix connectors and that kind of thing. So what got me thinking I should make a redemption YouTube video. So, um, I am working on building a bunch of PowerCon cable. Uh, we got an order for five of these distros that are going into a uh, Pelican case to charge iPads, um, and I have to build power cables for them. So I figured, man, why not uh, do that on YouTube and show you guys that I do listen to the comment section every once in a while, even though you guys give me a lot of crap. But if you want to check out the video on how I built this, this Neato USB-A distro, check out the link in the uh, upper right-hand corner of your screen, because that was cool. Because, you know, sometimes I like to make projects take eight times as long. And when you do that, you put it on film. So, with building this cable, much like all LM Tor Systems cables, they are available at lmcasesonline.com by clicking the link in the upper right-hand corner of your screen or checking the description below. So if you want to help your pal Billy out, um, you can buy your cables from me. Are they built any different from anybody else following the Nortrek instructions? No. But they're built by your third favorite YouTuber, Billy, right? That counts for something. And at least you get a thing. So, we are building the new Neutrik PowerCon NAC3FXXA slash or hyphen W hyphen S connector. Uh, this is our standard one. Uh, the suffix here where it says S, the only thing that really differs is there's an S and there's an L. Um, and all that says is the. Um, uh, the outlet here. It's for small or large cables. So I use the small because it just grips the cable extra tight. So, you know, I, I like that. The F or the S and the L are pretty much interchangeable, really. This is a 12 gauge SO wire. So to build this, we're just putting this back boot on first. And then it has this little badminton guy over here. I like to call it the aerial refueling net. That goes on that side down. And then I just like to do this. I mean, again, we're expediting this. You guys have seen me build all varieties of PowerCon before, but what you haven't seen me do is crimp a ferrule. Although maybe, I don't know. Maybe did I do that in my last PowerCon videos? I don't know. I might just be crazy at this point in the day. I've consumed a lot of espresso and I have eaten nothing. That's not true. I had a pumpkin roll for lunch. Very healthy lunch. If anybody asks, it's a salad. So get these guys stripped back. And while we're doing this, if you're interested in any of the tools that I'm using, of course, check out my Amazon store. Because would I be a real YouTuber if I'm not trying to sling you guys tools sold by Uncle Jeff Bezos? Well, I don't think he owns Amazon anymore. Maybe he does. Anyway, so once you get wire stripped like this, just crimp this, and we'll just strip this back using my Klein catapults. And now, if you want to spend 4x the money on any set of tools, when you thought Klein was expensive, oh, no, no, no. We use Knipex. Um, so these ferrules come in a variety of sizes. So like most things, um, I do recommend, one of the things that Amazon does really well, other than me just throwing a bunch of shade because they're like owning everything in the world now, um, one of the things they do have is there's a lot of people that put these little kits together on here, which are pretty cool. So they come with everything from a 10 gauge ferrule. And I think this is probably in the 20s, 22, 24 uh, gauge ferrule. 
which I've, I, I've rebuilt our wiring loom on our CNC machine. That's the only time I really use this. But the ones that I use all the time are these blue ones. Um, they're, it's technically a 16 to 14 gauge wire, but like most things in my world, the 16, and, the 16 to 14 gauge um, uh, crimps and butt splices and that kind of stuff does work on a 12 gauge. And then, you know, the logic is you want to just use the tightest fitting thing. So here's why the ferrules are cool. Um, you just basically slide this on like this, and if you twist it, it'll go on. And then you take your uber expensive, because it's German, I can use uber, um, crimpers, and then you just go like this. And what I like to do is just stick that on there, and then push hard to make sure that it's seated, and then just give it a little crimp. And there you go. And because I'm a manual guy, I'm going to make sure that this is manually in focus. And there you go. So we'll do the other the other two because you guys are super down it's like three in the morning right now you can't sleep and you're watching your third favorite youtuber literally crimp ferals on wire right is this thing on glad that we have this relationship this one-sided me talking to myself and filming myself crazy relationship so one of the reasons why the ferals are cool and needed is when you use a connector that's like this guy where you're basically sliding a wire into a hole like this. Again, because I'm a manual guy, let me make sure this is manually in focus. Um, it's very easy to take wires and have one of the threads kind of spin out. And what I mean by that is, you know, for example, in a connector like this, this isn't a big deal. This is our neutral and this is our, our hot. So because it's separated by the grounds, um, you know, the, the little strands of wire that are coming out of there are probably not going to touch your neutral and your hot, but you can put your neutral line down your ground line, which is not the best thing in the world. So when you look at this, all you have to do is, um, so this is our L, this is our hot. This just makes this, ooh, look how nice that is. Ooh, that just goes in there like that. And the cool thing about the ferrules are they use a very soft metal. Um, so when you crimp it down like this, it's biting really hard and let me show you what it looks like when you pull it out of there it actually is crimping the soft metal down further so it kind of see this kind of flattens it out like this i don't know how well you can see this it kind of flattens it out it's no longer round um, so it is getting a bit of force to to crimp it down um, so let me get this back in here while i'm thinking about it and i will show you guys i'll crimp one and show you how it works so I, again, it's like I, I went from not knowing anything about these things to using them on everything pretty quick. So again, thanks YouTube comment section. You guys actually did, uh, did help me out on that. So check this out. There's no wire in this, so we'll crimp it. And look at that. It basically collapses it down. Um, so it does, it does have a degree of crimp on there. Um, so this is basically, basically flat. So the cool thing about this crimp set is um, you do have two levels of crimping, uh, so I have it on the, the smallest one, but if you move this guy like this, oh no, I lied, I have it on the bigger one. You can actually make it smaller, so let's, cr let's crimp our, our um, 16 to 14 crimp again and see if we can make it go even smaller. Ooh. ruh -ro. there we go. <laughs> so that basically collapsed it way, way down. So this is our original, our original crimp, and this is our other one. So it, it does have a variable thing like that. And it's, uh, it's good. It, you can use it for a lot of things. There are certain Hubble connectors that say don't use a ferrule on the end, but um, you know it's, it's very rare. So like when I, we build uh, L2130 cables and stuff like that, I've been using the, the, the ferrules on there, um, especially for the, uh, the center ground pin. It's very, very nice to, to help that lock in there. Um, but yeah, these are my feral redemptions. So, I mean, again, this is the Knipex set of crimpers that I use, um, and this is the feral kit that I bought on Amazon. So, I mean, again, you know me. I'm slinging tools all the time. You can check out my, uh, uh, my Amazon store for this. But again, thanks, comment section. You guys actually really came in clutch with that. Um, this is also, I'm making this video as an excuse for everybody that continues to comment on there and say, you should be using ferals. I could make a video and say, ha-ha, I've learned to check it out. So... Uh, I'm not going to really finish building this cable on camera. I think you guys know the deal here. Uh, you've seen me do it before, but uh, if you want to check out that video, check out the upper right-hand corner of your screen. But as always, thanks so much for stopping by. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.